Hey guys, what's up? It's Liam here again. I've got another guide for you today on how to install a program called Bottles, which will enable you to install many other launchers on your Steam Deck. First, you simply head to the Discover Software Center, search for Bottles and install that. Then once loaded, you create a new bottle and the instructions are all right there. Just give it a name and then wait a couple minutes as it sets up everything it needs. Then once your bottle is set up, go inside, head to Installers, and then pick whichever one you want. For this, I'm going to demo the EA app, which will be replacing Origin. As a side note, the EA app is the worst piece of crap I've ever used. During this guide, it took two days to do because it just, it kept freezing on me and it was really annoying. But eventually, once you get your download to finish, everything does work really nicely. Here's the thing though, you once again cannot access your SD cards, but I've got a fix for you here. First, you need to get the actual location of your SD card. So in Dolphin, if you scroll down to removable drives, it usually shows up as primary. Now at the top of Dolphin, where it says primary, you can click and it will then give you the address. You need to copy that down and make a note of it. Now there's two ways you can allow access to the SD card. The first one is the scary terminal and I'll show you the command. You just need to make sure your correct address is in there. That will be in the description. The alternative is to install another application called Flat Seal. And this application enables you to manage loads of different permissions for applications that you install through Discover. It's actually a really handy application that you should take a look at. So all you do in Flat Seal is just select bottles, go down to File System and where it says Other Files and just put your SD card address in a new box there. But you need to make sure it has no ending slash, otherwise it will not allow it, basically. And that's it. Then it allows your SD card, so I'll show installing Battlefield 5 onto the SD card on my Steam Deck. And you create a new folder, I'm just going to call it EA, nice and simple. And now it shows up in my computer there as the E drive. Now what I'll do is I'll show you it briefly running directly in desktop mode. And a word of warning, games that are installed outside of Steam will stutter a lot because Wine and Proton need to build up a shader cache because you're not running the official version on Windows so they need to build their own shaders eventually though to be clear games do get smooth but the experience of any games like this outside of Steam are an absolute stutter fest for quite a while until you build up that shader cache so what I'll do is I'll leave you with a bit of the stuttery gameplay just so you can get an idea that it does actually work. Conquests. The goal in conquest mode is to capture.
Okay, and now that we're back, we are going to add bottles directly to Steam. The usual method in your Steam library, you can just go up to the games menu, click add an on Steam game, and then select bottles. And then we'll boot back into gaming mode in the actual deck UI, and I'll show you how it works there. Now, to be able to interact with bottles in game mode, you will need to change Steam input over to mouse and keyboard so that you can actually tap the few options on there. Now, like other launchers, it will flash between the windows whilst it's loading, but eventually the EA app comes to the front, and then once you've launched your game, eventually that'll come to the front as well. It's because GameScope that handles all the windowing on gaming mode is only supposed to be seeing one window at a time. And I did speak to the bottles developer who is going to add in a checkbox to basically make bottles itself hide away once you launch something. And then I'm gonna leave you with some nice stuttery gameplay of Battlefield 5 running in game mode. But once again, to be clear, any game installed outside of Steam will always stutter to begin with, but it will eventually get smooth once it builds up shaders. It's always when it's looking at something new, it becomes a stutter fest. But once it's seen it once, it then doesn't need to do it again. Anyway, there is a look at bottles with the EA app and Battlefield 5 on the Steam Deck. I hope you found that interesting. Do let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you and have a good day.
Thank you. 